I didn't. I didn't. I left him alone. I'm starting to do takes. I, you know, I, I'd probably get emotional myself, really, uh, because I have a fair, a fair idea. You know, I'm kind of getting to know even a bit what it means to miss such a big game. You know, and you know, I can only imagine. Okay, you know, he's going through obviously great spells as well, but deep down, you know, deep down, he's be very hurt. And you know, and I suppose he'll negotiate that. You know, he's involved with a great bunch. Uh, they're they're obviously very close, very tight, an awful lot of love in that squad, and uh, you know they'll bring him along. You know, and you know we'll just he'll probably miss the club now for the next for the next month or two, and uh, that's another big consequence of the injury because he'll be a huge club man. And uh, you know the big one here is that he's part of the squad. He's in there. He's influence alone, Shane, in around the dressing room, leading into a final like that is going to be huge either way. Yeah, can you talk to me about the the final whistle? Your your feeling on the final whistle? Who you were with? How you reacted? Yeah, I was alongside my son actually, Barry. Barry and myself were alongside each other. Yeah, and as the game was going on, I I was just blown away by certain performances. I thought Burns was majestic. Yeah, I remember him catching the first ball. He took one or two right clatters and he held on to it. And I said to myself, "Lovely, he's going to be on it for the day anyway." So, you know, what really stood out for me, I've looked at two cornerbacks, did very well, whole half back line, top class, Duna, who was a bit of a nuisance, did an awful lot of blocking, half forward line, top class, Galan started well, Flanagan a bit unlucky, didn't get a few more scores. So, you know, two thirds of the team came to the party. And when the final whistle win, Shane, really, it was emotional because, you know, sometimes you kind of have to pinch yourself and show a bit of gratitude and be grateful that you're around to witness what is happening at the moment, because all this is new to Limerick, it's new to the supporters, it's new to this squad, and I suppose the squad in itself, you know, they're carrying, they couldn't be carrying carrying the mantle in a more manly fashion, and, uh, you know, it's just special relation. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.